try and control them and reduce their numbers. So one thing I do is I stick these out uh, on various docks throughout the lake, the people who uh, allow me to, and they, they sit there all season long. On a few of them, I take that bottom plate off once a month and count how many are on there and see how big they are. This lets me know where they're settling and, and, how, and what makes them happy. I, I graph it, I do some data analysis on it, and we're continuing to, to try and understand them. From last year's data, this is our second year that we're doing this, last year's data showed that there's probably a population that is living on the 133 bridge or around that area, and they are happy, and they are, they are reproducing. So we're going to continue to study them so we can understand them and knock them down. Um, there's also we're partnering along with uh, Candlewood Lake Authority. There's also we have those on Candlewood Lake Authority on Candlewood Lake. We also have them on Lake Zor. We have three areas, although Candlewood's lucky they, have, they don't have them yet. Um, so to understand where they are in all the lakes, and we have some good partners there. Um, we also have some. Professors at Westcon, that's who, who started me on this project, that are also testing the villagers. They go out with Greg, collect water each month from the from the water from two spots on the lake, and they count how many of the villagers, which are the infantile stage, are in the water. So they're getting an idea of how fast they're redu reproducing, and again where they're reproducing in the lake. Uh, we also have another professor who is taking those samples and doing DNA testing on them. He's testing them to figure out what lakes they're coming from. Are they just coming from where we think they are in Laurel Lake? Or is, are these the same populations that are coming, that came in from the Great Lakes? So that's a, a neat, little bit more understanding. We have another professor who is doing an additional study on the water that's collected to understand how it's changing our population.